Well, hello. Uh, this is the Saturday wrap. This is my look back on the week that ended Saturday, the 8th of June, 2024. I'm cheating. It's Friday the 7th. But tomorrow, I shall be be knowing again. Anyway, um, this is my week. This is the politics with a small p. Uh, this is the tech. This is the weather. This is the odds and sods. This is me complaining about lots of things. Yeah. So the week's just disappeared, by the way. Anyway, um, the word or phrase of the week. It is the 80th anniversary of D-Day. People who didn't just talk about it, people who actually did it. And I think it's telling that a lot of the people who were out there this week said the real heroes were the ones that didn't come home. So I, I pay my tributes and I pay my respects to all of them and thank them. They did a wonderful job for us all. Ah, right. App of the week. Now, I've had this one before, but this week something happened. The app is Bartender for the Mac, which arranges and sorts and hides various menu bar apps so you can get them all onto your menu bar. And I didn't notice this because I have Mac up data as well. But there was a change of certificate. There was a change of owner. Nothing was mentioned about it. It was all a bit hush hush. Everyone started uninstalling it. Um, yesterday, the original designer developer uh, came out and said everything was fine. I'm just having a watching brief at the moment um, because I'm not altogether sure. It could be another bending spoon, a uh, bending spoon, an Evernote situation. A beloved app goes away, someone takes it over, and then it goes to, you know what it goes to. Ah, right. Um, The thing of the week. And again, this is me showing my age, but I always seem to remember in the good old days, that's a long time ago, that when there was an election on, there were always cartoons about candidates kissing babies to gain votes. Nothing like that now. Um. And I think it would help. It's deathly dull, or has been deathly dull. Things have changed a little bit this week. Um, we have had the debates, and there is a debate tonight, uh, last night, depending on when you're watching it. <sighs> yeah, there's an election going on. Non-stop election going on. And the song of the week, which sort of slightly little bit ties in with that, is I've Done Everything For You. Uh, by Sammy Hagar, live from the Loud and Clear album. Sammy X of Montrose, and in the future, part of Van Halen. But this album, uh, The Red Rocker, absolutely excellent. Really, really good. Um, so if you've never heard any Sammy Hagar before, if you haven't got the Montrose first album, don't bother with the second one, by the way. <sighs> really good. So, last weekend uh, last weekend was like a Rona weekend for me. I was still coming round after the thing that I had, um, feeling a little bit lethargic and such. And interesting this week that there's been a E. coli e outbreak and foods that are distributed throughout the country. I don't think I had E. coli, by the way, but it was certainly food-based. Anyway, um, the weekend, I just sort of, didn't do much and it disappeared. So just like a Rona weekend. However, Saturday, mowed and strimmed the lawn. It was getting quite long, actually. Um, I'm going to probably need to put some of that seaweed stuff on it before long. Um, Sunday, interesting on Sunday, um, on my desktop PC, which doesn't have a trusted platform chip, um, I had a Windows 10 end-of-life warning saying October 2025, uh, this is going away. It won't be supported. You won't be able to upgrade. Which is true, to be honest. Um, but I have a plan. And it doesn't involve Microsoft. Also, on Sunday, my first Lenovo laptop. That went Windows 11 as well. So now I've got a Dell and a Lenovo, both running Windows 11. A tabbed notepad. And tabbed terminal as well. Who'd have thought? 
and um a sunday the smell of people having barbecues that's a sign of summer and uh, cricket balls flying over the uh fence from uh next door up they're very polite about it to be perfectly honest and i don't mind giving them back um but cricket and summer mind you cricket and rain stop play would have thought uh a monday the day in tech history podcast which ended well it was up until 2015 and was repeated a number of times it's back so i'm playing it again uh jeffrey powers by the way this <sighs> pity he stops in 2015 it really was somewhat wonderful tuesday and here's a strange one in the tumble from uh, now onwards, the guest ales, 149 a pint. That's a good sign and a bad sign together, to be perfectly honest. But I'm going to fill my boots. There you go. Wednesday, new front tyres, new tracking done. Uh, isn't everything expensive? Who would have thought? Anyway, that's that done. So with a bit of luck, it'll pass the MOT and not slither off the road in the wet or the ice coming winter, etc. Probably need to get some new front screen wipers sorted out, I think but whatever thursday night into friday or wednesday night into thursday overnight rain that's the way it should be in the summer sunny warm days overnight rain and my nice potatoes nice and watered without having to get out the watering can thank you derek uh friday bought drop over we'll report back on that uh probably going to go to the pro version uh, just a fiver and in work people moving on things change not always for the better uh, but sometimes for the people who are moving yeah time it keeps on going oh i wonder who sang that you can probably guess anyway um thank you for watching and um comments are very welcome uh bye bye